Hey Beauty Squad, it's your girl TT, better known as the Tiny Christina. Welcome back to my channel of all things life, love, and beauty. It is the official first day of fall and here in Los Angeles, it really doesn't feel like it. It's like 90 degrees where I am in the Inland Empire today. So it's a hot day, I must say today, but Again, thank you for, for joining me on this lovely first day of fall. And I'm going to, to share with you guys the importance of good foundation and foundation color matching. So I had a whole other video that I, that I shot this morning and I was, uh, and I, it was my thoughts on the newest Pat McGrath Mothership Bronze Seduction eyeshadow palette and, you know, this look that I put together, you know, with that palette. And along with that, I recently went to NYX and picked up their newest foundation, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. So I'll say my, my tone or undertones, I tend to be cool you know kind of warm you know sometimes in that in that instance so as i said a couple of times before i usually judge foundation shades outside of mac i, I use nc45 and so i usually kind of stick with with that and and you know depending you know too sometimes my undertone could be could be warm a lot of times, but definitely not red or anything like that. So I usually, I know what NC45 looks like and I know what it looks like on me. And I know when I try foundation, as I've said before, you know, you want to swatch your chest, you know, and not so much, you know, as your face, but you definitely, cause your, your chest is more of a closer match to what it's going to look like on your face. And so I, I go to NYX and you know they didn't have any the the girl sampled uh i i picked up nutmeg let me just start there i said nutmeg looks like nutmeg actually looks like nc45 or the fenty i think i'm 370 and 50 in fenty jeez and and the girl was like well you know we have this device and it can tell you you know what your shade is okay so she comes back and tells me i'm honey so judging by the bottle okay i look like okay I could be honey and it's almost evening time and so it's it's obviously dark outside or you know it's you know dusk you know outside and she puts it on you know those lights in stores are, are not the best you know of lights when it comes to especially matching foundation and I'm like it looks fine you know I go outside it looks fine but again it was also dusk and I just said, okay, I'll go with it. Foundation's only $15. So I, I get home and I shoot my video <clears throat> today or this morning. And this could not be more of a wrong shade for me. This is what you get when you don't, you know, trust your gut or your instinct or know what your foundation should look like. I'm mad at myself <clears throat> because I, I, when it came out of the, the bottle, when she pumped it like that, looks a little light. But, you know, she put it on and it looked like it matched. And I'm like, okay, that's, you know, fine. This, and this color is honey. And I'm probably nutmeg, the first color that I chose. And honey makes me look washed out. I mean, I, I did my video this morning. It was a, a short video. And I was excited to tell you guys about you know, the, the bronze seduction palette and this foundation. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the foundation. I like the formula. I like the coverage that it provides. It's just the wrong damn shade. And I'm mad because now I have to go <laughs> take it back and get something else. And I, I see why there's often a problem with foundation, you know, when you have to mix them together. I've never had to do that. You know, when you're mixing, you know, certain shades to get to a particular shade that matches you as close as possible. I've been very fortunate that I usually just can go with a with one shade and, and I'm usually good with that. But I say all this to say that, you know, your foundation is key. It's it's the base, hence the name foundation, of your makeup. And if it doesn't match, I'm taking pictures and, and selfies and I'm going None of this looks right. I usually can take a couple photos after I make a video and get it in, you know, maybe four or five pics, you know, sometimes more. And when I went in to edit the video, 
I'm going, I look pale as a ghost. So I, I show my husband Chocolata and he was like, TT, you look way washed out on that. I'm going, it's the wrong foundation. And it's important, ladies, to definitely, you know, take your time and match your foundation. You know, when there are shade options and shade ranges that definitely gives you more opportunity to find you know what you want you know or something that closely matches you know your skin tone and your undertones you know which is very important as well too so i say that to say you know my makeup looks nice mine is my foundation so to me it doesn't look nice at all which is why i encourage and suggest you know, women, take your time when when looking for the perfect foundation. There's so many out there. There's some good ones out there. There's some great ones out there. There's a there's a little bit of everything out there for everybody. But you know what you want to do is you just want to you know swatch it. Just swatch it on your chest. And I look at it now. You know under these lights. And here's my NC45, my my go-to color. And NC45 is darker. It's it's darker. Not by much, but it's definitely darker. And so if we take the, this is the can't stop, won't stop. And then this is, yeah, a big, 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 actually it's a big difference there. I put too much <laughs> of the, the MAC one on there. But it's a big difference, you know, versus, and, and I just, I, now I just have to, you know, take it back. This one definitely looks, you know, the can't stop, won't stop looks more pale. This one here, you know, and it definitely looks a closer match, you know, to my skin tone. So you definitely, you know, take your time when finding, you know, foundation, you know, definitely, you know, try to, you know, pattern, you know, foundation shades, you know, off what you already may have because sometimes that is often you know a, a good prerequisite to judge you know other other foundations so I wanted to just share that with you guys you know uh, about foundation because this is the first time I've had problems with the foundation shade uh, in a very very long time uh, because I usually stick with with certain brands they have my shade and I'm usually good to go after that so hopefully you guys you know will take away and know the importance of you know finding good foundation and matching it as close to your you know your natural skin tone as much as possible so I will also redo this video with the right foundation shade and also with the the Pat McGrath <laughs> bronze seduction palette and hopefully everything will be you know much much cleaner looking and, and more flawless looking because I just I kept looking like it's just I look so washed out but again this is what foundation looks like when it's not your shade and I know we all look in the mirror and see something different and that's fine but for me it, it needs to all be the same so it needs to just be clean it needs to just you know all be the same so tell me what you guys think, you know, if your foundation struggles, you know, if you've had any, if you have to, you know, mix and match, you know, different shades to get the right tone and, you know, and I'm, I'm sure tell me, you know, that you've gone back and forth to the store, you know, to the, the cosmetics counter, Sephora, NYX, you know, wherever, and, you know, like, I've got to get, you know, the right shade. So hopefully you guys, you know, learned a little something, you know, today and, let me know what you think, you know, in the process, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm happy to announce that I am also an affiliate with Gerard Cosmetics. So if you shop on their site and use the code LATANYA30, you will get a discount on products that you are purchasing. I'm so happy to announce that. You don't know how happy I am with that. So hopefully, you know, you guys share, you know, tell me what you think like comment and more importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel so and hit the little bell so you know when my videos are uploaded so i'll try to have this video done today if not it will definitely be on wednesday and like i said everything will be 
as it should be. So have a great rest of your day. Until next time, Latanya Christina is out.